right, hey guys, um, another video, just wanted to work on uh, some setting stuff, so I'm going to try to come up with a few videos just talking about some fundamentals of setting. First thing um, that I usually work with with any setters is really just with their footwork, obviously, but trying to uh, get them to square up to the left side whenever possible. Every single time they throw a set, they should be uh, squaring up to the left side attacker. I explain it to them in terms of we always want that outside hitter, that left side attacker to be available every single time you throw the set or you throw a set, you can throw a ball to that hitter. And if you want to go to the middle, you want to go to the right side, you choose to go to those different locations, but ultimately your default would be to be able to set that left side attacker if you want to. So if you're setting the right side attack and you're here and you don't have the ability to throw that ball to the left if you wanted to and you're just set up in a position to only throw the right side set, that would be the kind of behavior that we're trying to discourage. So I have Molly behind me and she's just going to be setting a few balls, working really hard on getting lined up to that target. So I'll have her set a few balls and then we'll change the angle and really get an idea of what she's trying to do when she's set. Okay, ready to go on? She's putting a ball in the net, and that's awesome. She's a great setter. I'm not worried about that right now as much as I'm worried about what her feet position looks like. Okay. Notice she's landing on balance as well. That's another thing that we talk about a lot. She's getting under the ball, she's facing the set, and landing on balance. That tells me that when she gets into her set, she's in control of what's going on, and she's not having to lunge out to the left side attack. She's ready to set the left side attack because she can set the ball and land on bound. Okay, good job. Um, let's change the angle a little bit. So we're going to continue to do that only, but still same exact set, okay, to the outside. All right, here we go. Ready? Getting square up. There we go. Nice job. Good. I'm not talking about it, but I love the fact that she's sticking that set at the top of her hand. She's really focused on keeping a nice balanced landing, keeping her hands high. All right, let's throw a couple back sets, Molly, and show how you're still trying to get into this position even when you're throwing the back set. Okay? All right, here we go. Good. All right, let's keep back just a little bit. All right, here we go. Look at your face towards the left side of the target, then the second the back. That was really nice. Okay? Getting face towards the left side, going out to the right. Nice. One more time to the outside. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay. Okay. So, really, really want to emphasize that whenever I'm working with clinics with the girls, or um, and whenever you guys are with your setters, really, really stressing that getting out, uh, getting set up towards that left side of target. I know we didn't take a lot of time explaining exactly how Molly was throwing that ball out to the right side, but we'll do that in a later video. Okay. Thanks.